Welcome to yet another Power BI video. In this video, we shall see how to create measures to calculate moving averages and cumulative totals using the window DAX function, which has been introduced in the December 2022 update. Let's learn more about the window DAX function from a Microsoft document. The window function returns multiple rows which are positioned within the given interval. Here's the syntax. Window from is a mandatory argument. From type is optional. To is another mandatory argument. To type is optional. And relation order by blanks partition by are optional arguments. Let's see a description of the above parameters. From indicates where the window starts. It can be any DAX expression that returns a scalar value. Further details are given below. From type modifies the behavior of from parameter and the possible values are absolute and relative and the default is relative. Two indicates the end of the window. The last row is included in the window. Two type again includes absolute or relative and the default is relative. Relation is an optional table expression from which the output row is returned. If specified, all columns in order by and partition by must come from it. If omitted, order by must be explicitly specified. Order by is again an optional clause containing the columns that define how each partition is sorted. Blanks is an enumeration that defines how to handle blank values when sorted. At the moment, this parameter is reserved for future use. Currently, the only supported value is keep, where behavior for numerical or date values is blank values, they are ordered between zero and negative values. The behavior for strings is blank values are ordered before all strings, including empty strings. Partition by is again an optional clause containing the columns that define how relation is partitioned. If omitted, relation is treated as a single partition. The return value of the window function would be all rows from the window. Here's an example which returns the three-day average of unit prices for each product. Note the three-day window consists of three days in which the product has sales and not necessarily three consecutive calendar days. Thus, three-day average. Average x is the function that calculates the average. The average x function requires two parameters, namely a table and a DAX expression. The table in this case is created using the window function. Minus 2 indicates the starting value, which is two values prior to the current value. Relative indicates that from the position of the current value, it should go two places backwards to get the starting value. And zero indicates the two value. And relative again indicates the position of zero. So as we go down the table, the current value will be zero and minus two would be the starting value. Summarize all selected sales, date, and product would create a virtual table, which returns all rows from sales, date, and product columns. Order by date sorts the date column, the sorting type is not specified as ascending or descending, and the default sorting order is ascending. Keep indicates what to do with the blank values. At the moment, keep is the default, and we cannot use any other option. Partition by would provide us the three-day average price for each product. The second argument of the average x function is the DAX expression using the calculate function and the average functions. This averages the unit price of each product. Now let's do a demo on Power BI Desktop. On your screens is Power BI Desktop, which contains an orders table with these columns. In the canvas, you can see a table visual, which contains two columns, order date and sales, and the order date is sorted in the ascending order. We are going to create three measures. The first measure is to calculate the total sales. For creating the total sales measure, let's click on the orders table and select new measure. Let's call the measure total sales. We use the sum DAX function. The column that is to be total is order sales. So let's select this, close parenthesis, and press enter. This is the newly created total sales measure. Now let's create a measure to calculate seven day moving average sales. For that, let's click on orders table again, select new measure. Let's name the measure as seven day moving average. 
equals the dax function that we are going to use is average x. It requires two arguments, table and expression. For creating the table, we shall use the window dax function. Minus 6 is the starting value, which is 6 values prior to the current value. Let's type a comma. Let's use a relative as the from type. Type a comma. Then 2 would be 0. 0 indicates the current value. A comma. The two type is again relative, which indicates that if we are in the first row, 0 will be the first row. And the value, which is six values prior to that, would be the starting value. If we go to the next value, this will be the two value. And the sixth value preceding it will be the from value. Now, let's type a comma. The next argument is a relation. We are not going to use the relation, so let's type a comma. And the next argument is order by. If we omit to mention a relation, we have to necessarily specify the order by. The order by, in our case, would be the order date because we are calculating the moving average based on the ascending order of the order date. Let's click on order by and select order date. Type a comma. By default, the value is ascending or we can select ascending. Let's close the orders by. Type a comma. The next argument is blanks. How to deal with the blanks? There are four options. At the moment, we are allowed to use only keep. The remaining options would be available in later versions of Power BI. We can either select keep or leave it blank. So I'm going to select keep. Let's type a comma and partition by, I'm going to leave it blank. So we've finished all the requirements of the window DAX function, close parenthesis, type a comma. We have to provide the expression argument for the average X function, which is the measure total sales. Opening square bracket and select total sales, close the parenthesis for average X function. We've finished the seven day moving average formula. Let's press enter. Close the formula bar by clicking here. And now I'm going to add the seven day moving average to the stable visual. Let's drag and drop it in the columns well below sales. For 3rd of January 2018, the sales and seven day moving average are the same because we do not have any values for the prior six dates. If we consider the second date for 1 2018, what we have is 152.25, which is the average of these two values. Similarly, it goes on. We have all the seven days available only from 10 1 2018 for 10 1 2018 the seven day moving average is 701.95 let's check whether this is correct in this excel sheet we can see that for 10 1 2018 the average of the seven values including the current value is 701.95 which is correctly calculated by our measure similarly for 11 1 2018 we have an average of 701.02 which is again correctly calculated and 13 1 2018 the seven day moving average is 1167.56 which again is correctly calculated so we've easily created a measure using the window DAX function, which has obviated the necessity for complicated DAX expressions, which we used to resort to hitherto. Now let's see how we can easily create cumulative daily totals or running totals, as we call them, using the window DAX function. For that, let's click on orders table again. Click on new measure. Let's call it cumulative total equals. We shall use the sum x dax function. It requires two arguments, table and expression. As in the previous case, we shall create a table using the window function. Let's type window. The from in this case would be the first value. A running total means it starts with the first value and each subsequent value will get added to the first value. So in this case, the first value or the from value has to be an absolute position, cannot be a relative position. If it is relative, as we go down to the second value, the position of from changes according to the position of this value. We don't want that. We want to anchor the from value at zero or the first value. So the from in this case would be zero and the from type in this case would be absolute. Now let's type a comma. The two in this case again would be zero. 
but the two type is going to be relative because the zero indicates the current value as we move down the rows. Let's type a comma. I'm going to leave the relation blank. Type a comma. If we leave the relation blank, we have to specify the order by. So let's select order by, order date again. Type a comma. The sorting order would be ascending. Let's close order by. Type a comma. Blank values. We are permitted to use only keep. So let's select this or you can alternatively leave it blank. Type a comma and partition by. I'm not going to use it. Let me close the window. Type a comma and provide the expression for the sum x. The expression for sum x is again the total sales measure that we calculated earlier. So let's select total sales. Now we can close sum x. Press enter. We've created the measure cumulative total. Let's add this to the table visual. Drag and drop it in the columns well. Let's see whether this works correctly. It's 16.45 in the first row, it's correct. In the second row, it should be the total of 16.45 and 288.06, which is 304.51, correct again. And in this case, it would be the total of all the three. It is 324.04, that's correct again. So the window function enables us to create moving averages and running tools very easily without the necessity of using complicated tax expressions. Hope you found this video useful. If you like this video, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues. Our channel has a lot of useful content. Please subscribe to our channel and help us take the number of subscribers to the 1000 mark. While subscribing, please remember to click on the bell icon and select the all option so that you shall get immediate notifications as soon as we upload new content in our channel. Please visit our website paddycosmos.com. Thank you very much for your continued patronage and support. See you again with yet another video. Have a great day.